It's because it's my car. No, honestly, it's not. I mean, I was supposed that to it out doesn't yesterday. help, but um, I would much rather take the train than the bus. When you and the, or the bus than drive. I can read. I can. This is my iPod. Um, you know, Kiehl's puts parabens in their products. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. It makes my skin look like I just got a facelift. <laughs> you ever tried um, the oatmeal thing? clay? No, I can't stand that when it dries on your face and you're like... I use that oatmeal scrub yeah. and I, I'm like, oh my god. Why don't you make some at home? I make toast at home. I don't make anything at home. I'm gonna make fucking skin products. <laughs> Why don't I make my own candles? I'm gonna start making my own soap too. I won't even make soup. I won't even make hard boiled eggs. You're making coffee though. I am making coffee recently. The coffee doesn't make the house smell like a diner. <laughs> my house is too small to cook. It would be like it would be like bombs of wood if I cooked in my place. I would wake up and I'd be like, oh my god, all my clothes smell like whatever I cooked the night before. <laughs> but then I could get to my Ford Fiesta. <laughs> and it would be okay. everything would be okay. Is it possible to get roaches in your car? A friend of mine posted a picture on Facebook of a rat that was in her car. She was par she had it parked in a New York City <gasps> parking garage and the parking garage always leaves the window down a bit. And they drove all the way to their house in upstate New York. Okay, parked the car, went in, spent the night, got up in the morning, and it was a cold night, and the sun was just streaming in, warming up the dashboard, and the rat was sitting on the dashboard of the car. It had, they were so lucky that rat didn't come out when they were driving. On the highway. Oh my god. On 87 I'm North. Really, I'm sure the rat got in up in upstate New York then. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. sleeping under the, yeah. under the sea? Yeah. Hiding. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, because they didn't leave their windows open. They didn't leave their windows open in, in, um, at, the, at night. At I can't even tell you like how traumatized I would be. Even like, even though I didn't know, even like getting up the next That's morning. my worst fear: a rat in the car or a bird. A rat or a bird. <laughs> can you imagine? Like, and that and my arms being pulled off by a gorilla. Those are my three. Yeah. Can you imagine sitting in the car and like all of a sudden a pigeon comes out? Like in Florence, pigeons are like friendly. They're friendly. I swear, you're like sitting there like in a cafe or whatever. A they're pigeon they're will friendly come, like, in Venice too. <laughs> will come and like land on your shoulder. I'm like freaking out. They're, like nobody else cares. I'm like, um, but yeah. Uh, what about a bat in the car? Bats, though, will like find a spot and just stay there. They won't. Imagine you got roaches in your car. Imagine what? You got roaches in your car. Like you're like driving and all of a sudden you see like a roach fly. Well, that's another reason why you shouldn't drive. If you well, if you park your car in a parking garage in New York and the, the parking and they leave your window open, you could get oh those flying ones. I think that people do get roaches in their car. Oh my god. That's another reason not to drive. You don't see. You don't see it Can you do a Twitter search roaches in car right now? So how many people follow you on Twitter? About 1,100. How many new ones do you get a day? Um, average? I don't know actually. Probably like 20. 20 a day. Probably. It gets to a point. I get one new one and then the next day they leave. No, but you know what it is? It gets to a point. You hit a, like a plateau and then it's just like... Not a plateau. You get to a certain point. And then you start to get followed, not exponentially, but like a lot. You want to roll. The tipping point? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, um. But I don't really even try. I find I don't look at it that way at all. I'm not about like how many. I mean, I'm psyched that I have a lot, but I'm more about who it is. Like, I'm not about. I'm not at all about like 
Like, I hear people say, I see people on Twitter, oh, I, I only need 200 more to be a 2,000. You know, let people know. And I swear, I'm like, that is not going to be great. It's like, I don't want to, I don't care if everyone can follow me. I can't care if all the cameras follow me. But I'm not going to go solicit it. You know, I, like, I really believe I'm building relationships with like that. I was saying this in my presentation the other day. Like, like the people that I follow, they're going to start to follow me back, are in fashion, music, social media. Hip-hop. We'll see tech, probably. But then those other ones, too, because I'm following them and I'm part of the conversation. I'm becoming part of the, the conversation. And then, of course, there are other ones, but they drop off. You know what I mean? But if I, like, use one of these, like, Twitter apps that, like, get you, like, thousands of followers, they don't have anything I want. You know? Advice, inspiration, links. Responsiveness. Responsiveness. Responsiveness is huge. Links. I mean, I'm not going to follow some, like, Christian. And I, I say that to get time to follow me. But in, like, um, do you have a lot of Christian following? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Did you mention God recently? I don't know of. I don't know what it is, honestly. It's so funny. It's weird. It's like conservative, neocons. Oh, maybe you mentioned the devil if they're neocons. But, um, but, like, they're not going to have the links that I'm interested in. So, anyway, whatever. Twitter is. Do neocons like. I really am. Did you see that blog post I did yesterday about the Twitter search? Back tweets? Twitter is now actually, I believe, becoming like a threat to Google, believe it or not. This little app, minimalist, like nothing application. The real time like, the, the biggest problem they have is bandwidth. And they're, they're like scaring everybody. Because it's transparent. It's, it's like culture, it's now. There's no real walls up there. Well, the people are doing. Well, Google developed this al algorithm to do popular searches, right? Yep. And so now Twitter. It's real time search. You can't the beat that. The real people are yeah. the algorithm. Yeah. The people are the algorithm. It's like living mathematics. It's like simplifying it to like. It's much more valuable. It's the most valuable search right now, I think. Although, I mean, it depends on what you're doing. If you're looking, if you're looking for like, you know, where was Abraham Lincoln born? It has its place. Yeah. There's certain um, populations that I could see like never going on Twitter. I think it's going to be a hard sell. Like ceramicists. I don't really see them. Are you kidding? There's a whole, whole art section. Did you see that in the, um, the wiki? No. Oh, you're talking about that. I, I'm thinking of like yeah, the culture. Yeah, the are really kind of like... Are you kidding? Anti-technology. Are they even a demographic? Are there enough of them to even become a demographic? They have a magazine. They have a couple. Called what? Ceramics Monthly. And there's another one, but I don't There's only 10 issues a year, granted. I think you'd be searching for like crafts people, right? Yeah, I have a craft person that I follow that never. Did you go to Etsy.com? That was hilarious. What did you tweet about Etsy? I was like, that is so true. I have the same sort of file, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a DIYer, but there's something about it. You saw that? I guess like people responding to me dying. It was like, dying sometimes laughter. I stumble upon Etsy.com and I get the same sinking feeling I get when Christian rock starts playing on my iPod. <laughs> it's true though. I'll be like, give me a... There's always like people make these things bag them. I mean, like, a lot, like, is it all, it's like all women too, right? No, it's gay men. <laughs> can you imagine, can you, there's RISD grads. Trey, can you imagine my brother cruising on Etsy.com? <laughs> <laughs>